Well, hello everyone. Welcome to welcome back to my channel, my Nikel S10 Shopping Garage. <coughs> I'm Mike. Thanks to all my subscribers, and I hope this video is good enough for you to subscribe if you haven't already. Please do so. Thank you so much, and to all my other subscribers, thank you so much. I have 150 now. Thumbs up to all of you. Thank you so much. And we're going to see about getting the car started today. My O10 Aveo. Everything is pretty much back together except hooking the battery up and tightening up some wiring and finish building up the starter. I did that the wee hours of this morning, this being June 10th, I think, of Saturday. Uh, I stayed up extra late last night and put this stuff back together to save some time. But I will show you. <clears throat> but I want to bring to your attention the 530 seconds ball in. Allen wrench. That's what I finished tightening up the bolt with on the sensor and to the trans for the flywheel. And this also came in handy, the one that I devised. Finished it up with this. I finally got it in there and got it anchored. <coughs> As it's facing you this way, the bolt goes to the top and pretty much facing you and the magnetic pickup sensor here this is the OEM one I've replaced of course fits into a slot what I could see up in there with a mirror and a light sorry I can't show you all but very limited space even with the transaxle out so one of these days I pull the motor out to change the flywheel flex plate and that assembly now I don't forget to, I'll show you how this goes into it. Yeah, I'm curious of it too. And it just pigtails curls way up and... Oops, sorry. Like so. And that's pretty much how it fits in there. And... Whoop. Keep everything here on camera. And like I said... Friendly reminder, if you happen to have your 530 seconds gets hung up in this bolt and you keep backing it out, you don't think you have it undone yet, whoops, sorry, guess what happens? And it falls off the alum wrench, down there it goes more than likely and, well, that, you just don't want that to happen, neither do I. Unless you're pulling the motor out, then it don't make a difference. Or the transmission. But yeah. Other than that, it won't fall out. And I give it a good four hand turn snugs. Just like so. Until I almost couldn't turn anymore. I'm going to guesstimate it at 20 newton meters or inch pounds. But good hand tight. All it takes. This picks up on something to the flywheel because it has to monitor revolution. Basically like a tack or tachometer. But I did see a slot that this fits in then that goes to the boss to where the pad the threads are at and a little bit once you get this nose piece or magnetic pickup in there it lines it up for this and it was with a mirror Give me just a second. This is what I use with a uh, hot dog size light that telescopic and flexes at the light end. Get some light on the mirror to see down in that hole where this magnetic pickup sensor fits. And that's how I did this. So I'm going to see. There we go. That's all I could see, what I could see from the ground up. I don't have a rack to do this. It worked out wonders. Second try with this, this and that and being at night and the light from underneath and it being dark worked out wonders for me. Doesn't mean it's made it dark to do it, but it helped me out. Okay. I'll be right back. We're going to head out to the car and do some... Hardware tightening up, tighten up on some wires and hook the battery up and 
see if she starts. Oh, and by the way, last time I tried starting her, or well, turn the key on, that the check engine light is not flashing anymore. It brought up the two codes that I put on this prior video that is a permanent code. I don't know if that's going to stop it from starting. Hope not until I get them erased and I can't do it. And I don't have the equipment to do it with because they're permanent. The scanner I bought, it apparently they're not permanent. It can delete them, but since they're permanent, I've got to get it done. And if the car don't start this time, I'm out of options and things I think of to do. It's going to the shop. Let's hope it don't. I want to conquer this for, for us. So I know and you know. But I got caught totally blindsided at this when I done the EVAP system and the fuel pump swap. I backed the car up to, to the garage, turned the key off, and that was it. No indication whatsoever. So yeah, that hurt me bad. Like, where do I start? What happened? What's wrong with you? So give me a second and be right back. Excuse the background noise, of course, there's traffic out the driveway. <clears throat> Here's the tools you're going to need for this. Deep well, an extension at, at 12 inch, 3 inch extension. Deep well 13. A 12 mil stubby ratchet, one I made. The flex one, 3 8 the short extension you need to be 13 mil that I can remember for <clears throat> probably this nut. So let me double check here real quick. Yep. Top starter bolt, which I'm going to get ready to put on. A, sorry. This is 10 mil shallow and 10 mil deep, which I think I've already told you. Okay, give me a second, and let's get out of the car. Oh yeah, for me, the light. And we're seven and a half minutes. Okay, done some minor changing. It's a, yep, so I get turned around here, I can see it and read it for you. 13 mil, 12 point, and for the top starter bolt, and the flex head stubby 3 8 so I'm getting ready to put the top bolt in, which I've done in a prior video with a starter swap. Okay, I'm back. I also use this and my right hand to get the rubber grommet plug that goes around um, the sensor wire and to uh, cover the hole that it goes into through the back of the block into the uh, to the flywheel. I use this to get it started. You'll see this as we go in the car. So give me a second, let me get this bolt in. Okay, as you can tell, we're out of the car. I gotta finish tightening it up positive, which is that one, trying to get the focus, the relay, and the bottom stud, which is right there and a ground wire to it so as I chase that down wherever that went to and the alternator wire this bracket here intake to the block and you can't see what I've replaced because the starter's got a blot I didn't think it was blocked that bad sorry about that but it's in and secure Okay, let me get this done, and I'll get right back to you. Almost got it. Just wanted to kick the uh, cam or the video back on so it don't stop on me. Almost done. Got to tighten up starter wire, well, relay wire, and ignition battery wire. We go on up top and give it a try. Your positive cable nut is a 12 mil, and your relay wire, which is this one right here, that's a 10 mil. And you've got it. 
Let's head up the top. And we're 10 minutes into this and you can hear the key alarm going off. <clears throat> we have contact. And let's see what we have in dash lights. Whoops, there goes the hand doing that stuff again. So hold on a second. Get this stuff adjusted here. Down it down the tilt steering goes. Let's see. Down and see what we got for dash. Fuel pump on, check engine light on, lights on and off it should be, and the fuel pump just kicked off. So, here we go, I got one more thing to do. If this doesn't work, is to swap out my clutch pedal position sensor, I call it a neutral safety switch. And if that doesn't do it, it's off the shop it goes, unless someone comes up to me and tells me exactly what's wrong with it, or has the equipment to do it, that can do it there at the time. So, let's see what we got. Here we go. Nothing. Okay. I don't know now what to do. Tell you what, I'm going to swap out that neutral safety switch and get back to you. Oh, there I am. Yeah, I'm going to swap out that neutral safety switch and see what happens. Okay, we're uh, 11 and a half minutes into this and there's the newest uh, clutch position sensor or neutral safety switch and for an extra foot to the clutch pedal while I'm under the dash a roughly at 30 pound stainless steel 2x4 and I'm going to say 12 minutes into this <clears throat> and if I can use the, this for that as you can see it's off and there's a as soon as I find the tip of this there's a tab uh, other side maybe right there you press in side there it is you press that down pop it off let's get this other one back on or on now that the Clutch position sensor neutral safety switches on, swapped out and on. I also hooked up the battery for I hooked this up with the clutch in to uh, hopefully for juicing it to. Of course, I didn't have the key on as you hear I do now. Back off and I'll deal with this. lock here and get it back on and I hope you can see it there it is let me get that on and let's give it a try I took my uh, stainless 2x4 out and I might have goofed up part of this video hitting the camera but it still looks like it's recording and it's 13 and a half minutes into this and the size of the sockets is 936 deep well the short extension and a quarter. Oh, let me get the lock on and see what we got. Okay, I can't bend and twist like I used to. I found that out just a few minutes ago. Uh, let's see what we got here. Get my hand out of the way as usual. And tons. There we go. Now we can see what we're supposed to see, I hope, I think, I figure. Uh, okay, let's give it a whirl. Absolutely nothing. Everyone out there, now it's beyond me. I really don't know. It's not powered somewhere. I've done all I know I can do. I will keep you updated on this. So turn us back. Huh. Break time for me. I'm gonna go ahead and get a drink, clean up a bit, chill out some, and see what I'm gonna have to do. May have to make the call Monday, get it get a roll back to get it down to the dealership and let them get it going for me, which I'm not happy about, but I'll keep you updated. On that note, keep the wrenches turning. 
easy on the knuckles stay safe first priority and if you come up with a solution on this let me know i appreciate it thanks so much everyone have a great one bye